A chat GPT extension? Check it out. I can go to this Chrome web store and there's this thing called chat GPT for search engines. Prompt templates. What? This is what my chat GPT interface looks like now. And supposedly this extension will update it. Let's add this to Chrome. By the way, I'm very careful about what extensions I add to Chrome because some things really can slow down your Chrome and your web browsing experience. If that happens here, I'm turning this thing off. I'm warning you. Whoa. Okay. Apparently I've been living under a rock. Look at all these other extensions here. Wow, this one is rated pretty highly. Shiny object. I'm getting distracted. Let's go back to ChatGPT and refresh the page. Wow. Okay, okay, look at this. My interface just got a facelift. So all this stuff is being injected into the ChatGPT interface by that extension. And it's giving you basically templates. Uh, it's got top prompts tab and it lists all the top prompts already right in the interface. So it looks like this thing is storing other people's prompts. You might wanna be careful with what you put in there. This one's pretty good. I want you to act as a personal trainer and I will provide you with all the information needed for an individual looking to become fitter, stronger, and healthier through physical training. Devise a best plan. I, I kind of want to see what this says, but I'm going to skip that for now. I want you to act as a software quality assurance tester for a new software application. Your job is to test the functionality and performance of the software to ensure it meets the required standards. Okay, so let's click on that and see what it does. Aha, uh -huh. it copies that prompt to the input box, but look at this. There's more things that it added to the UI. Style and tone, friendly, luxury relaxed luxury what is that professional bold adventurous persuasive this is great because it's giving some ideas and you can select the language <laughs> okay you know what i'm just gonna leave that as default for now one thing at a time this is exciting all right so here is the report login functionality test report introduction test methodology test case execution this is the kind of boilerplate that i bet qa engineers have to write a lot are you a qa engineer do you have to do this kind of stuff well there you go <laughs> i'm gonna stop that right there that's enough what is all this stuff these templates here let's let's see um share a secret what is this oh it's got a UI to actually build up the prompt. Write a social media post to share a secret. The main points you want to cover. How do you fill this out? Can you type here? Oh yeah. So all the green stuff you have to basically fill out. It's like a form now. Nuvius, software engineering, software consulting, Twitter. I don't even know what's going to make, but <laughs> the tip or recipe. Oh, I have to come up with that. Can't you just make one up? Always comment your code get into the details this will help out others and yourself uh number of words uh, i don't know let's do 300 words and target audience software developers style and tone we'll leave that default language we'll leave a default and let's go what is this it's got some hashtag as it includes at the end. That's pretty cool. Maybe it doesn't automatically save your prompts. Maybe you gotta press the share prompt button in order for it to save the prompts. I don't know how that works in the back end. Hey, fellow developers, I've got a secret to share with you. As a software consultant for Nuvius, I've learned that commenting your code is an absolute game changer. No matter how skilled a developer you are, commenting your code is an important aspect of the development process. By adding comments, you're helping out not just your future self, but also your colleagues who might work on the same project. Notice I never said it'll help out your future self it'll help out yourself but this thing it kind of gathered that it's going to help out your future self so this whole thing becomes the prompt now this is basically the form that you filled out as the prompt to chat gpt and it's using that nicely so uh, these templates are kind of handy for that because you don't need to remember what to put into your prompt that's what templates do i guess i wish they had a search feature here so you can search for coding examples or things related to software development dating profile that's interesting can you imagine just everybody having the same dating profile from now on there's a lot of youtube related stuff content improve <laughs> okay social media content email fun oh my god your wedding vows that's unforgivable <laughs> Out of all the things that are forgivable using ChatGPT for, wedding vows are not forgivable. What is this prompt generation? That's very meta, right? You're gonna give it a prompt to generate a new prompt. And I've seen this done before because, uh, well, it kinda gets you better prompts by prompting it to do better prompts, which you can later use to prompt, yeah. 
Generate a prompt. Goal. What do you want to achieve with this prompt? Write a clever YouTube intro. YouTube video intro. Brief context or situation where the prompt will be used. Uh, prompt is to be used by a YouTuber who is showing how to use prompts. I'm getting confused here. Example prompt. Provide an example prompt that you would like to generate prompts to be similar to. No, that's your job. No, I'm not doing that. Let's go. Lazy. The whole idea here is that we're lazy. Hey there, TypeScript wizards. Wait a minute, not TypeScript wizards, word wizards. Did Matt use ChatGPT to come up with his intros? Are you ready to unlock the power of prompts and take your creativity to the next level? Well, in today's video, we're diving to the magical world of prompts and revealing the secret formula of crafting clever intros that'll make your YouTube videos stand out. Buckle up and grab your thinking caps because we're about to embark on a spellbinding journey into the art of masterful YouTube intros. If I ever say anything like that, please feel free to unsubscribe. See you next time.